Welcome to Drink Wine Be Crafty, I'm Megan. Today I am going to be announcing some giveaway items and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make this hanger, pot, flower pot hanger, fruit ball hanger. Super cool, super fun project. I love how it turned out and I'm going to give you all the info on how to make that now. Um, you will only need, you'll need rope, and I'm still using the same rope that I've used in some of my other projects. This one I bought at Joann's. You will need, you're going to need three rolls. It's going to be almost enough for two, but I would say three rolls of this rope. The hanger that I bought, I actually found this at the Dollar Tree. I bought this and I was like, I have no idea what I want to, ow. <laughs> I have no idea what I want to do with it, but... I thought it could make a really cool project and I was right. It turned out really fun and really it was really fun and really cool. So Dollar Tree, I actually have seen these at all all over. So any type of wire, um, but it needs to be segment in sections like this so that way you could do the design that I made. And then you will also need rubber bands. You'll need for this one, you'll need at least 16 rubber bands of any sizes. I have a ton of the little ones that you make bracelets with thanks to my kids. So the smaller the rubber bands, the better because it's a little, they're a little bit easier to work with. But any type of rubber band. And of course some wine. And I'm having a glass of Pinot Grigio today. And so yeah, let's please guys enter this giveaway. I'm super excited. I love to give away stuff. So like subscribe, either comment your favorite wine or a um, recommendation of what you like to see me do or both. You can be entered into both to win both items if you give me both of those. And once I hit 100 subscribers, I will be doing the giveaway. And um, that being said, let's get into the project. This project requires a lot of rope. You will need 73 50 inch pieces of rope. So 73, and you actually use eight between each, or in each of the sections. So we're going to have, we're going to put eight pieces of rope on right now to do the first section in between the bars. You can do, if it's a bigger project, that's fine, but you have to keep it in in increments of twos so if it's a little bit bigger you'll have to fit at least ten or if it's smaller you'll have to do you know six it to do the pattern that I'm doing it has to be in twos there's an extra strand of rope that you use for the bottom um, to do the the very bottom so 72 is for the actual basket and then the extra one is to finish the um, fringe that's hanging down to make the knot that holds it all together at the bottom. Now that we have this done we're going to do a square knot and to do a square knot you have to have four strands of rope and you're going to create, you're going to take the first piece of rope on your left and you're going to create kind of a four. You're going to take the right one and put it over the top of that one and then go under all three and pull it through the hole on the other side. And that's really all you do, but you do it in an opposite direction for the next. So you do it twice. You do it once and then you reverse it and you do it the other way for the next so the same thing and you're gonna put it through that hole and then you have created your very first square knot for this project we're going to do four square knots across the top and we're going to um, for each row we're gonna decrease to make a triangle so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that but you you just continue doing the square knots across the top until you get to the end to have four square knots in all
for the second row, you're going to do square knots, but you're going to skip the very first two pieces of rope and you're going to go to the next four. And then you're going to do three square knots on this row. there should be two ropes on each side that you did not use and you're going to do the same thing you're going to skip the first four to only do two square knots on this row mm -hmm. We've decreased now and we only have one square knot to do on this row so skip six ropes and then on each side there'll be six and you will just do the four in the middle to finish our triangle shape Now that we've finished the square knots, we're going to use the first rope on each side to create a line of double half hitch, diagonal half hitch knots. So to do that, you're going to take the first rope and you're going to hold it against the square knots diagonally and do double half hitch. So do one and then do another one on the same rope. So each rope will have two double half hitch until we get to the center.
Now we're gonna go on the other side and we're gonna do the same thing, but when we reach the center on this side, there is an extra knot and I will show you once we get there, but you're gonna do the two half hitch knots, the double half hitch for each rope, and once we get to where it meets the other side, I will show you how to complete the double half hitch knots. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it while I was tying them, but I skipped one on the other side, so I'm going to go back and just tie that one because I should have had this one done the f on the first round. Okay, but once you finish, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the other side, and once you do the last one on the right side, you're going to grab that other rope and you're going to do one more because it just completes it and makes it look like it all flows together. So there's just an extra double half hitch on the right side than there is on the left and then you have your completed V shape. Now you'll do the exact same thing seven more times to complete the top portion of the basket. I like to do this project section by section. Um, you'll realize once you get all of the rope on there it just gets a little overwhelming so I complete one section before I move on to another section and I highly recommend that because if you just have a lot of rope it just it can all start running together. This part maybe not so much but once we get to the part where we start weaving it, it gets really complicated so or not it's not that it's hard it's just the rope can just it can all just start running together if you don't keep it segmented and keep it in different sections so we are going to just do each piece each section and uh do a little step at a time
now that we have tied our square knots and made our V all the way around, we are going to start weaving. Now we're going to do this in sections. You're going to need rubber bands because we're going to do step one of weaving all the way around our project. And then we're going to have a couple more steps to do after. So let's start with step one. You're going to take eight of the ropes from the right side and you're going to take eight from the left. And we're doing this in twos. So, um, two ropes at a time. So basically you're going to take the first two on the right side and we're going to just weave those in. So over the first two on the left side under the second two and continue on over under and then I just put the work just kind of lift it up and, and put it over the top of the basket just to get it out of the way for now and you're going to continue that but instead of over under we're going under over because we're making a weaved effect here so take the second two and put it under and over and just continue on with that until you've done that with all of these ropes in this section. And once you finish, you're going to grab a rubber band and you want to make sure to tie this really tight. Right now it doesn't matter if everything is uniformed and spaced out. Right now we just want to hold it all together because we will make it look how we want it to look at the end. So right now, just put a rubber band on each side and we will come back to these after you have continued doing this same thing all the way around your basket. So tie your rubber band on and then you're going to rotate your work and you're going to do this on the other side just like we did on this one. And it always starts the same. You do everything the same. You start on the right side going over under and you continue the same exact weaving process and like I said do it all the way around the basket now that we have finished step one of weaving we're gonna move on to step two which really is basically the same thing but instead we're just doing it at a different angle we're gonna take one of the rubber bands off from the right side and the left side and it's going to go directly in the center of the section right underneath the V and you continue with this exact same weaving pattern but you're just doing it under that V and then once you finish you're going to do the same thing you're going to tie each section off with the rubber band just like we did before because we're going to have one more weaving step to go after this one.
Okay, y'all, now we're ready for round three of weaving, and we went in the middle of the V's in the last round. Now we're going to go in a more diagonal from the V across the bar for the last round, basically like we did with the first round in the same direction. So we're going to start by taking the rubber bands off the left and the right sections and the weaving again is the exact same that we have been doing the entire time with each section. So starting with the right side you will go over, under, over, under and continue on until you have finished our final section of weaving all the way around the basket and be sure when you finish each section that you put the rubber bands back on the sections. Now that we have finished all of the weaving, it, this is the time where you're going to go back and you're just going to adjust the ropes and there's no method to this madness. It's just a matter of getting it how you want it to look. Honestly, if you're looking per for perfection, you're going to go crazy because it's not going to be perfect, but then we're going to get all the ropes at the bottom and I think that one of the main keys is making sure it's not bunched up and adjusting the ropes. Um, I would start at the top and work my way down to the bottom getting everything aligned and the way you want it but again perfection is not something that you have to try to accomplish here it's just getting it to where you like the look of it. Um, I don't think you can really mess it up once you get everything the way you want it we're going to do the last step of the process and that is tying the knot that is going to hold everything together and I recommend getting it positioned the way you want and then tying a bigger rubber band around it just to hold it in place and then I'm going to show you guys how to do the knot to finish the project. Okay, I have evened out all of my weaved rope and now we are going to tie a rubber band around the bottom. You want it to be really tight, make sure it's all even. Um, and once you tie the rubber band around, we are going to get our last piece of oh and, and definitely lower these rubber bands because we don't want those at the top so yes but don't take them off because my goodness if you were to accidentally get all of this mixed up and or messed up there would be really no end to the headache you would have trying to put it back together so lower these um, smaller rubber bands or the rubber bands on each section without taking them off and then you're going to put a piece of rubber band around the top part just to hold it tightly in place close to the the bottom of the basket. 
Once you've gotten everything tight, the easy way to see that it's centered is looking inside the bowl and making sure it's centered that way through the middle of that circle. And then grab that rubber band and tie it around this as tight as you can to where it'll hold in place. And I'm going to show you how to do the gathering knot is the knot that we're going to do to complete this basket. All right, we're doing the gathering knot as the last part of the basket to hold everything together. So you make a loop um, and you need both the top piece that's on my right and then the loop at the bottom to stick out of the rope that you're wrapping around and wrap it around as tight as you possibly can to get that all, I mean it's, it's super thick because it's a lot of rope so it is a little bit harder to to do it as tight as you want but just keep tightening it making sure everything's gonna stay in place and we're going to wrap this around a few times I think uh, about five times and then I will show you pushing it up to get it as tight as I possibly can before I do too many more wrapping and tightening as we go my daughter's helping me thanks to her I can have two hands <laughs> and then once you get it wrapped around you want to give yourself enough rope at the end because you're going to put it through the loop that you've left hanging out of the bottom so you don't want to go around and not have enough rope so put it through that loop and then you're going to grab that piece that's sticking out of the top and you're going to pull up until you get that loop in the middle of this rope and then once you've done that you just need to get rid of the extra pieces so grabbing some scissors we're going to cut as close as we can to that knot on both, well on the, if you cut the bottom first then you could pull up and you can hide the bottom really easily but then you're going to cut the top part and you just tuck that a little bit in, you can, if you can with your fingers if not you can get something to just push it in there to where it's hidden and everything doesn't come out. You want to, don't want to push it too far in. But that's it guys. That is the final step to our process. I am in love with the way it looks. Now we can finally take off these rubber bands. And then you can trim the fringe if you need to. If there's some really long pieces you just get everything. You don't want it to be perfectly even but if there's some that are sticking out really far below the rest of the, the bunch you can trim those off and that's it. I am in love with this project. I hope you are too and definitely remember to like and subscribe to enter to win this amazing basket. I have all the details in the description below for entering in both the giveaways and guys come back and check out my next tutorial I will be posting another one at least within the week so I hope you enjoyed this I hope you come back I will see you next time bye guys